I'm Steve King with uh, 3M Communication Markets Division, and I'm an Applications Engineer. And I work in the, uh, in the wireless ac access segment of the business. And I'm going to talk today about the 3M Slimlock Closure and how it works. So just a little bit of background. What we see now is a lot of what we call densification in the mobile infrastructure network. So you'll see this manifested by more towers, towers with more equipment on them, more antennas, more antennas on rooftops. As this has occurred, you see more complex constructions too, like more ports on the base of the antenna. Well, they can't keep growing forever because that's too much wind resistance, too much weight. So what we see is more dense connections at the base of the antenna. 3M responded to this need with the slim lock closure. So the, the key features about the slim lock are that it weatherproofs the connection to the antenna. This is an RF coaxial cable going between a radio and an antenna. It has to be weatherproofed to keep the, maintain the signal integrity. So what we have here is we have a, a gel pad carried by the inner sleeve, which closes over the connector, as so. And then you have a compressive sleeve that, that goes over the uh, inner part and basically it slides up into place. Now the key feature that we have here is, as you notice, there's no tools involved. And a second, and this is a very important feature, is that this is reusable, re-enterable. So you may say, well, why would you want to get back into this? Periodically, if you have to sectionalize the network for problems, you might want to re-enter this connection. So you simply pull down the tab. You can use this mechanism to park the device, unlatch it, take it back off. This can be repeated up to 10 times. Today's episode is brought to you by Telecom Careers, the number one global telecom and wireless job board, telecomcareers.net.